So I am Alicia Fallon Royal, an MSA student at the LSE in the International History Department. And my talk mainly centralises around the idea of the importance of oral history, especially as we're attempting to develop it and expand what types of histories are actually recorded. For me personally, growing up, I managed to spend a lot of time with family members to understand their histories, understand their experiences. And from that, my knowledge base has expanded tenfold. There are certain areas in school that I wasn't taught about that speaking to my grandmother and my great grandmother, I've been able to learn more about them, especially areas such as the Second World War, migratory patterns, even the Thatcher years, you may be surprised, whilst I descend from Jamaican parentage. They have that information, they have that knowledge, so it's important to speak to people that you know in order to learn more about history. Just being able to have these conversations with my grandmothers has expanded my knowledge base. So for example, with the Second World War, most of the knowledge that's out there is about how black people or Jamaican people, Caribbean people were open to joining the war effort simply because they wanted to show their loyalty for their country. But there's not enough conversations surrounding people when they went back home. What happened to them? What was their mental health like? How did they engage with one another once they were back home? So in having these conversations with my grandmothers, I was able to understand that my descendants who were involved in the war effort actually did suffer from PTSD. However, because we don't want to talk about it or we haven't had these conversations, the knowledge base is not there. People don't know about it. So I guess the main thing is for people to go home and have these conversations with their family members in order to further understand what their history was like, what their experience were. And it doesn't just have to be in the past, but even in the modern day. How do they feel about large scale things that have happened? The election of Trump, the EU elections, Leicester City winning the Premier League. How did those things have an impact on them? The best thing to do for these is to make sure you actually record the conversations that you're having with these people in order to make sure that future generations can engage with these histories and learn more and want to engage with history as a subject.